you please get back in your car? My laundry. I'm sorry? My laundry. Alright, you can get it after. How are you? I'm Officer Richards of the Ocean Police. Just here where this is being audio and visual recorded, alright? Okay. The reason why I'm stopping you is one, your car is all messed up here. Yeah. You got no headlight and it's pretty dangerous to be driving like this. And two, you just made an illegal left. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You coming out Where? from King's Highway? You were at that yield sign and then you made a left? God, I didn't even notice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? I didn't even notice. And I'm bringing to this car to my shop tomorrow. Okay. I'm really sorry about the left turn. I didn't even notice. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have your driver's license, your registration, your proof of insurance? Yeah. And when did you crash? Um. In um. A couple months ago. A couple months ago? Yeah. And it's been like this for a couple months. Yeah. I just think I had to do my laundry. Alright, where are you coming from tonight? Um, my, uh, well, I was up visiting my dad. Uh -huh. And, um, and then I was, uh, at my house. Okay, where are you coming from now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you were, I just saw you on King's Highway. Uh, which I was right a 7-Eleven, I'm sorry. Okay. I was a 7-Eleven. Alright, you have anything to drink tonight? No, not at all. Alright, you take anything? You seem a little out of it. No, no, not at all. Okay. Not at all. It's going to be a second, please. <laughs> like, my house is like... So, I just wanted to do my laundry really quick. Uh-huh. And then tomorrow I was dropping the car right off at Nick Valenti's auto body shop. How have you been driving it for a couple months like this? I haven't been really. Where did you uh, Where did you crash at? Um, like what town? In Manalapan. In Manalapan? Did you document or did you report it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just haven't had time to get it done. You haven't had time to get what done? Well, I didn't have the... Um, yeah, what is it? The deductible? Oh, so you, you didn't have time to get your, um... Who's this? That's my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Yeah. How long have you guys been dating for? Um, uh, like a couple months. A couple months? Yeah. All right, you can hold on to that. Thank you. And you, you just have a business card? Well, yeah, he he has he's getting me a family. Uh huh. Um, car just yeah. All right. Do you have your registration, your proof of insurance? Yes, I do. Sorry, I, I lost the card. What's up? I lost the card. Oh, where's the card? Here, hop out for me. Hop out. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Drop Can I have my bag? Yeah, you're being detained. You have a piece of you have a. Don't move. Drop the cigarette. Drop please, it. Please, Drop please, the cigarette. Ma'am. There's a thing of heroin right please, there. Please, please, stop. I'm, sick, so I'm, I'm, straight I'm out. telling please, you, stop don't, moving. Don't ruin my life. Please. I'm not ruining your life. My dad is a. Is a is Do not move. Officer, Do not move. Do not. Don't move. Please do not. I'm getting an expungement. Please. Okay. Well, stop moving. Please. Rare for Ocean. I'm 10 4. I have a female 41 CDS. 10 4. Two seven five going out. See, there's all heroin right there on yeah. your seat. Alright. Huh? Please. Stop. Stop moving. Please, Stop please moving. My life. I'm not doing anything. Ma'am, you have heroin all over your seat. Stop moving. Come back here. Do you have anything else on you? No. You sure? Yes. Here, lean on lean here.
No, it's just her. There's hair on all over the front seat. You sure you have nothing else on you? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's hair on all over the front seat. So you didn't have anything else on you? No, you're under arrest, ma'am. You have heroin all over your front seat. You have empty heroin bags. You have heroin in here. I'm, I'm just super expungent right now, please. Okay. I'm sorry, but... Was her car like this the other night? The front all crashed up? Stop. Stay. Stay here. Can you get me a laundry, please? We'll deal with that after. Please don't ruin my life. I'm not ruining your life. Please. Okay, come over here. I'll grab it for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The for this uh, stop, Mama Six Seven Nancy Tango Echo. Any recent fifteen reports that it was in? Yeah. Hey, Bobby, can you just stay with just make sure she doesn't try to ditch anything? Was was this like this other night? I didn't see it, and Bobby, I don't even think saw the. You didn't see the car. No, right? I, I asked him if he saw it. He didn't. Yeah. He said he said three ten. I tried to reach out to him. Yeah. So she was parked at the Seven Eleven like this and I'm like that's a little weird and then when she came out she bet like obviously this car's all messed up there's no headlight or anything she made this illegal left right here <clears throat> but when I'm talking to her I saw the bag right here yeah by the like, cigarette box yeah right by the cigarette so I was waiting for that but as soon as she bent over I saw the full bag so I just had her hop out and just right. and what she got stuck in the little purse thing that yeah she, she has more heroin in there right. <clears throat> but she seems out of it so I don't know if she was just shooting up with her Snorting or something. There's a, there's a, some, uh, there's a straw right here. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. There's no access that come back to that place. Okay. Yeah. You think she's on the uniform? I think she might be. I'm trying to get this straw. I dropped it. It went underneath here, but I'm, it looks like it's cut.
Yo, when did you stop her? You saw her? You stopped her? I stopped her here. She pulled into here. So she must have been here before. So this same woman was in the bathroom? Uh, I didn't um, saw her car. I just I was over that side. Yeah. And she was trying to open the... You saw the, this? The, you, did you just see the woman the girl, that we had? The gym jacket? Yeah. Yes. So okay. she tried to open the bathroom. Yep. And I just went like, I don't know. Yeah. She was saying, and I opened the door. I'm like, I don't know. Okay. And then she was like, where am I supposed to go bathroom? Yeah. And then I... Just mind my business. Yep, yep. And then she grabbed the garbage can and like placed it where we couldn't see it. Yeah. And she just which, it, it really smells. Which I garbage have, pail? I have no idea, but I'm guessing it's like maybe this one here. One of the garbage that pails. One, that okay. One over there, okay. But it really no, smells. It's the one over there. Okay. Yeah. Can I get your name? Now yeah, you like, noticed her. He, you saw her out here with the officer? No, I have no idea about this. No, forget about the car, the woman. Where oh, did yeah. you? So the, same jacket? While the officer was speaking to the woman, you noticed that it's the same woman that used the bathroom? No, I have no idea about her, but the lady told me that she saw that girl. Which lady? The one that just came. The one that came in this yeah, one? Yeah, she told me about the car. I have no idea. Alright, so this woman in this car right here that has the door open yeah. here uh -huh. saw her use the bathroom in there no, or no, you no, saw no. her use the bathroom no, I, I, you, that's what I mean yeah. so but what I mean is you just happened to see her with the officer just yeah, now I was like on the corner yep. there and I saw her like you okay. know, there and now again you see her back here while she was talking to the officer and you're no. able to confirm that that's her do you understand what I'm saying? Forget about the car. No, no, no. Yeah, I know she has a gym jacket. Yeah. Yeah. So That's that lady okay. that we were just yeah. with uh -huh. was the same woman that was yes. in here earlier mm -hmm. and, and used the bathroom yes. in the mm -hmm. in the uh, daughter's mm -hmm. bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good night. Thank you. I appreciate it. Did you hear that? Yeah. Allegedly, she was here earlier. Went in here, tried to use the bathroom. The bathroom door is locked. She defecates in the garbage pail in there. When you're back here, this woman is watching you and confirms that the woman that you're with, she have a jean jacket on? Yes. Is the same woman that defecated in the bathroom? In the, in the garbage? Yeah. Supposedly this woman saw it also. So I'll just see if I can Hi! Hi, sir! Did you see something go on in there before? No, no, sir. No? I come. You just got here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Maybe the third baby will have to be Yeah. How are you, sir? Hi. Did you see a woman in here before use the bathroom in a to in a garbage pail by any chance? No. No, okay. No, I just got here, too. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything. What's that? I mean, one of the garbage pails smells, but I don't see any defecation sitting at the top of the garbage pail, and nor am I fishing around for it. That would be 
two in one. Yeah. <laughs> she thought it was that garbage pile over there. I mean, there's a stench in there. It could be dirty laundry. It could be. It could be the yeah. the incident itself. But it's not like it's, not it's like. sitting right there on the top. Right. So. I mean, he can always ask her when we're in there. Yeah. She wants to admit that she used the garbage pail as a bathroom. We can take some action on it, but at first glance, there's it's not just sitting right on the top. Nor did this guy see anything over her, so. What's that? She has a ton of them stuff. She has a what? Um, that was over in stock, so. Okay. <clears throat> No, uh, I don't know if you heard, no uh, spillment reports for a 15. But I mean, there's tape on the bumper, and uh, I, mean, I mean, it could have happened tonight, and she taped it just before you stopped her, but. Yo, I'm gonna call for a hook no matter what. I mean, this is not safe, a safe vehicle no. to be operating. No, not at all. If we put her through some psychophysicals and determine that she's uh, yeah. under the influence, then we'll just call brothers and tell them to hold it for a 12 hour so hold. So I could just do them at headquarters then, right? What's that? The psychophysicals, since she's already here, do you want to do them here? I'd rather do them here. Huh. I mean, we're not gonna have her do a walk and turn in the, uh, in the booking room. Yeah, they usually, when they do the DRE, they usually do it in that hallway right there. I'll do it here. I would just do it here. Huh. We could take her out. Three of us are here. I'll we'll ask her to go through a couple, make a determination. But I say we okay. hook this car no matter what. It's not a safe operated vehicle. Kilo 55, five, Well, number one, there's no report. So it's not spillman, though. It doesn't mean it didn't Another correct, Or yeah. she hit somebody or something and, and did it herself yeah. and you drove away and then, yeah. I mean, I mean, if I saw that car on crash, I would immediately call for a hook. I wouldn't let yeah, I mean, the hood is barely yeah. latched on it. The, yeah, the one off. side of the hood is completely yeah, unlatched. Completely yeah, there, correct. Yeah. 275 Ocean. Can we get a 17 for this vehicle? It's unable to be safely driven. And then we can call the DRE yeah, after you do the uh, zeros on the box. Yeah. I'll probably just do it right here. You can do it right here. Right. Pop on out for me. Just come over here. I'm going to put you through some field sobriety. I'm going to uncuff you. And I'm going to put you through some field sobriety test, all right? Because it, it, to me, it looks like you're under the influence. Okay. You can barely keep your eyes open. Um, I'm just going to put you through some tests. Either way, you are under arrest for possession of heroin, but I'm going to put you through a field sobriety test, all right? Okay. Just come right in front with this officer. Come right here, in front of my vehicle. Yeah, you just lean against the bumper for one second. I'm gonna turn these lights off. So lean, you're, just lean against. Lean against it. it. Yep. Against it. I'm gonna just turn these lights off. So you're not blinded.
Yeah. What was that last part you're broken up? Just. Yeah, why didn't they Yeah. Put your feet together. Arms straight down at your sides. All right. Do you have any issues with your eyes? Yeah. What's wrong with your eyes? Um. Sometimes they um they like shake a little bit. They shake. All right. Yeah. Anything else? And when I cross my eyes, I have a hard time crossing my eyes. And what? I have a hard time crossing my eyes. All right, yeah, you're not going to have to cross them. Okay. All right, just keep your feet together, arms straight down at your sides. I think Sammy Davis hangs out with Richard Scott, so that makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, look. Look right at me. Don't look at the light. Do you see the, the tip of my pen right here? Yes. When I move the tip of my pen, I want you to follow with your eyes and your eyes only, all right? Do not move your head. Do you understand? Yes. Keep looking at it, right? I'm gonna go up twice, alright? Okay. Alright. Just come right over here. Do you have any issues with your legs? Anything that affects your walking or balance? Any injuries? Um, not. Nothing. No? Right now, no. All right. So what I want you to do is stand right here, okay. facing this way. You're going to use this line right in front of you, all right? Okay. Put your left foot on the line. Put your right foot in front of your left heel to toe. Arms straight down at your sides. Don't do anything until I tell you to. Do you understand? Yes. When I tell you to do so, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps as it, or while you're walking on this line, just like this. One, two, okay. three, and so on until you get to nine. Once you take your ninth step, keep your front foot planted, mm -hmm. take a series of small steps to turn around, mm -hmm. and take nine heel to toe steps going back in the same fashion. While you do that, look down at your feet, count your steps out loud, keep your arms by your side, and once you start the test, don't stop until you complete it. Do you understand? Yes. Right. I am shaking because I'm a little cold. All right, just give it your best shot. Okay. Do, you, do you have any questions? Um, so when I get to nine, pivot. And go back. Correct. You're gonna keep well. You're gonna keep your front foot planted. A series of small steps to turn around, then go. You understand? Mm. No. All right. Just like this. So say this is your ninth step, right? Keep your front foot planted. Take a series of small steps to turn around. Okay. And one, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. Okay. You understand now? Yes. Any other questions? No. All right. Go ahead. All right, put your feet together, arms by your sides. Okay. Don't do anything until I tell you to. Do you understand? Okay. Yes or no? Yes, sir. I do.
All right. When I tell you to do so, you're going to raise whichever leg of your choice, your left or right, it doesn't matter. You're going to put your foot approximately six inches from the ground and parallel, toe pointing straight out. Okay. Keep both legs straight, keep your arms by your sides and look down at your foot. You're going to count out loud, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Do you understand? Okay. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Do you have any questions? Starting from 1,000... You just say 1,001, okay. 1,002, 1,003, and just keep going. Okay. Until I tell you to stop. Do you understand? Yes. Any other questions? No. All right, one second. All right, go ahead. Okay. 1,001, 1,002. <laughs> Can I start over? Yeah, keep going. A thousand one, a thousand two, a thousand three, a thousand four. Straighten your leg out. A thousand five, a thousand six, a thousand seven, a thousand eight, a thousand nine. <laughs> Sorry. All right, you can stop. You can stop. Okay. All right, just put your hands behind your back. <clears throat> so you're going to be placed under arrest, like I said, for the heroin, for paraphernalia, and for DUI, all right? And for DUI? Yeah. I believe you're under the influence. It's based off your test, alright? Let's come this way. Are you a D um D R E? I'm sorry? Are you a D R E? Am I a D R E? No. But I don't need to be a DRE to determine that you're uh, under the influence. But well, I will be calling, calling for one. I am very cold. All right. Uh, can I have a phone, please? Yeah, I'm gonna grab it for you. Just have a seat. Uh, I am gonna be calling for a DRE because obviously I don't I don't smell alcohol on you, so I don't think you're under the influence of alcohol. I think you're under the influence of a narcotic. So, I mean, we still have to have you blow into the uh, the aqua test. Just that's the protocol. Um, I assume you're going to blow zeros. Obviously, I could be wrong, but I don't smell alcohol again. I think it's something else. Um, if and when you do blow zeros, then I'm going to call for a DRE. My clothing um, are in two bags right in front uh -huh. of um, inside the laundry mat right there. A brown bag and a green bag. You want us to put it in your car? Yes, please. It's a brown bag and a green bag. Yes, please. It's right inside the door? Yes, please. All right, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna bring it over here and make sure it's yours before I grab or before I put it in your car, though. Brown bag and a green bag. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it in her car. But no Is it these? These bags? Yes. Alright, I'm going to put them in your car for you. Yes. You got the key? Alright. Oh, you can throw it right in her bag here. Let's bring this whole thing in. Easy. Did you already call it the mileage? Yeah. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna hit it with the 452. Yeah, yeah. The test went good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. But there, Five, so there, yeah. there was a yeah, definitely. There's a straw right on the side with uh, all white residue. Sure. She probably just snorted. That's what I'm, my guess is. Will you see it on the seat when you? Uh... So she, I saw the empty bag, um, an empty heroin bag in the uh, on the side door. of the door, like right below the seat. Right. That's when that's when I called you. And then when she leaned forward, so she dropped something. Uh, I saw the full like bag. the bag. So I was just I was pull pulling it. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Received. Can you see if they have a female officer for a search as well while we're there? Also, a ten eleven. Transporting adult female 41 mile location to Neptune PD. Starting mileage 21068. Camera on seat belt today. I'm sorry? No, it has to be towed. It's going to be towed to Brothers Towing and Long Branch. I'll explain all that later. Either way, that car is. We, we, either, even if you weren't arrested for DUI as well, it was going to be towed because that car is in no shape to be driven. All right. I mean, it's more. It's more than. It's not that. It's. Uh. Well, the eye test doesn't. Oh, you're, you're not always gonna show indicators on the eye test when it comes to narcotics. Receive. All right. I mean, I, I understand it's. It's not like it's summer, but it's 50 degrees. I've had people that do, are able to do it in 20 degree weather. That shouldn't really impact your ability to do the test. So you were right here on the other side of this and you made a left. See there's no left turn sign right there. You pulled out from there and you made a left onto uh, West Park. And there's a sign right there, right ne it's right underneath the stop sign that clearly says no left turn. I got you. What's up? Uh. I don't, I don't know how your criminal history is. Have you been arrested before? Sorry, hold on, let's put these up so I can... Five years ago? So I can't make any promises, but more than likely, yes, you'll be leaving on a summons. But again, it's not really up to us. It's, uh, it's all, like, have you heard of bail reform? Yeah, so we put everything into a computer, and that basically, them and a the judge, uh, decide if you get released on the summons or not, but more than likely you will. I'm sorry? To what, get released? Uh, probably two, two and a half hours. But you are, you're gonna have to call a, adult, a sober adult to come and pick you up though. I'm sorry? All right, yeah, just cause with the DUI, we have to have a form that, uh, we have to have a form that you uh, that a sober adult signs because they're that we're releasing you to them.
We'll talk about everything once. Let's just finish this, and then when we get back to my police station, we can talk about everything. Three or four is arriving. That's two beauty at ten eleven. Three or four. Two one zero seven three. Uh, you want to park in though? You want to park in though? Yeah, I'm going to move my car, park it, and then I'm going to meet you back inside. Oh, uh, you're running for me? I'm not running it, but I'm uh, helping with the jailer so you can start your 20 minutes. Gotcha. Perfect. Thank you. Right there. So wait, wait, whoa, whoa, wait right here. Sorry. Wait right there. Mm -hmm. Did you put anything else back here besides this uh, rubber band? Mm -mm. Huh? I didn't put anything back there. There's a rubber band right there, and it wasn't there before. Can I see it? It's right there. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was. It was on you? Alright. What's going on, man? What's right there? I don't know. I don't have a metal wire in my brain. Well, there's something that's poking out right here. What is this? Oh. Don't touch it. What is oh, it's what pepper is spray. Cause it's... Why do you have pepper spray on you? Um, a guy in person with a police officer yesterday. I mean, All right. well, I'm gonna grab that. Don't don't touch it. I'm sorry, I'm Put sorry. your hand down. I'm not gonna spray you. Uh, well, I don't know that, so don't touch it. I would never do that. Come on. I don't know. Come on. Move your hands. No, it's just, it's just, uh, I am treating you like a person. <clears throat> Is it under your shirt? Yes. Well, it's under my... Is it the gray one? Just the gray one? Yeah, yeah. I saw it. Um, you could probably pull it out from my necklace. 
Because I have a navy necklace on. And you can probably pull it. Well, no, I got it. Okay. Just wait right here. I'm going to put this in my car. Okay. Open your mouth. Lift your tongue. All right, you're good. <clears throat> so, I'm 24. I'll have to watch you for 20 minutes. So just don't, well, you're not going to be able to touch your mouth. Can I pull my hair out of my face? Huh? Can I pull my hair out of my Can face? Can you reach or no? If not, all right, I'll uncuff you, but I'm going to cuff you to this. So just when I uncuff you, your one wrist, don't um, touch your mouth or anything. Try not to burp or anything like that. Okay. This is part of the thing we have to do. Don't worry about it. So we have to watch you for 20 minutes to blow into the alka test. Again, I obviously anticipate you blowing zeros. Uh, so then I'm going to call for a DRE to meet us at my police station. But this is just a formality. They won't come unless uh, until you blow into the alka test. So I am going to have a female come and search you at my police station. So if you have anything else on you, it's going to be found. I told you we have to come here because we don't have anybody certified working to operate the alcohol test oh okay yeah like I said once we're done here then we're gonna go to ocean Standard statement form by any chance? I think it's all in that uh, the paper garden. Gotcha. Yeah. You started the appointment? Yeah, at uh, 24. What's up? Yep, I grabbed your phone, your purse, your wallet. Can't remember what else. Your keys. Obviously the car keys with the car, but your other keys, I don't know if you have house keys or whatever on there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
the standard statement for him. I can't remember when Casey ran the box for me like a month or so ago. I can't remember where he... Uh, yeah, they should be in the box for right Gotcha. Where? Like in general or? Huh. Something new every day. Believe it or not. <clears throat> so we just go to 7 Eleven while you were uh, waiting for your clothes or? Um, I went there because I couldn't find the cigarettes. Ah. And I wanted the cigarette really Perfect. bad. Gotcha. <clears throat> Alright, Nicole, I gotta read this to you. It's a little lengthy, so bear with me, alright? You have been arrested for driving while intoxicated. The law requires you to submit samples of your breath for the purpose of testing to determine alcohol content. A record of the taking of the breath samples, including the test results, will be made. Upon your request, a copy of that record will be made available to you. After you have provided samples of your breath for testing, you have the right at your own expense to have a person or physician of your own selection take independent samples of your breath, blood, or urine for independent testing. If you refuse to provide samples of your breath, you will be issued a separate summons for the refusal. A court may find you guilty of both refusal and driving while intoxicated. If a court finds you guilty of the refusal, you will be subject to various penalties, including license revocation of up to 20 years, a fine of up to $2,000, installation of an ignition interlock, and referral to an intoxicated driver resource center. These penalties may be in addition to penalties imposed by the court for any other offense of which you are found guilty. You have no legal right to have an attorney, physician, or anyone else present for the purpose of taking the breath samples. You have no legal right to refuse to give or delay giving samples of your breath. Any response from you that is ambiguous or conditional in any respect to my request that you provide breath samples will be treated as a refusal to submit the breath testing. Even if you agree to take the test but then do not follow my instructions, do not properly perform the test, or do not provide sufficient breath samples, I will charge you with refusal to submit the breath testing. I repeat, the law requires you to submit samples of your breath for testing. Will you submit samples of your breath? No, you don't. By law, you don't have a choice. Believe it or not, some people say no, though. <clears throat> huh? Well, they're dumb because they're automatically going to be condemned, right? Yeah, well, it's, it, you get all these additional charges. Well, it's, I mean, it's tickets, but... Keep your hand away from your face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I forgot about that. You're good. You, it's, as long as you don't touch your mouth, like go 
put anything in your mouth, but just keep your hand away from your face to avoid it. Okay, so asking for like a little glass of water would be out of the question. Uh, you, once we get to my police station, you can. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're going to pass a water fountain on the way in you can get water from yeah. at my police station. All right. What's up? We have a pamphlet. What pamphlet? The end of silence. I'll use my hand. Huh? I'll oh, you want to read it? Oh. What's up? Were you on your arrest time when you called the room? Uh, hmm. Whatever. Yeah, either way. Or? Yeah, either way. Either, either the, when she was actually replaced on the arrest or uh, the time of the call. It doesn't matter either way. Whatever you guys do, I don't think people do it different. Huh? 21. Once he's ready, you'll be good. We'll, we'll take you in our room and we'll blow and then we'll be out of here. Alright? Once we get to my police station, you, you, got, you got to try to hold it until you get searched. Yeah, like I said, you can get that. You got to try to hold the bathroom though until I can get a female to search you.
first marriage in Kia. Can you put out a DRE request and also see if there's any female officers to meet us at headquarters for a search? Stand up. Mm -hmm. You want to put that on? Call two eight three for that request. One call and then the DRE. Don't worry about it. I'll just carry it. Great. Huh? Great. Space that way. What's your name, man? So like I said, we're going to go to my police station. I'm going to try to get a DRE to come, like I explained to you earlier. And then I'll do the, uh, obviously, all the other processes and everything. Thank you, sir. Do I keep that open? Or? Watch your step.
for Barry Frosch and tell him. Three or four. Transporting female 41 from Neptune PD to our PD, same knowledge. Camera on seatbelt today. And four. Four is arriving ten three ten eleven mileage over the port. Go ahead. Two one zero seven Close port. Right there, right there. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the car. S and S five seven complete. Just come this way. Go up. Go to the left. Left again. Right. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stand right here. All right. Come back. Go straight back to the left. Left again. Okay. And right into this room. Just have a seat for a second. Over here on this bench. There's a female on their way here. Once you get searched, then you can go to the bathroom, all right? And there's also a DRE on their way too. I'm sorry? Yes, give me a couple minutes. I forgot, you're supposed to tell me when we, when we walk past. One 
leaving the hot like the other ones in the car lights on. Which way it got the light going? Both going south. Vice versa to the left car pulling out. Any light on the bike? Easy to hold on a flashlight or a cell phone on the front. Cars up by small. I put your uh, spray back in your bag. My phone's in. Yeah, your phone's in here. I'm going to uncuff you. Just take your sweatshirt off. Um, basically, get to whatever you're. You have like a t-shirt or something on, or a long sleeve shirt. Here's stand up. Stand up. Um, Face the wall. I may have a undershirt on. No, no. Like whatever you're. Like you can see, you obviously have a couple layers on. Yeah. Whatever you're like. Small. Shirt is. Oh yeah, I have an undershirt on. All right. Is that cool? Yeah. First name's Mark. I'm selling. Last name's Lawrence. Leave an alpha with Roger. Echo Nancy. Here you can give me Charles a Echo. Date of birth is 17. Take your uh, lanyard off and your uh, choker. Put it back here. Put it in here. 3820. And your ring. Address of 25 High Street Temples. Just uh, locate him and check him out. Just uh, have a seat. Have a seat.
Did a bird. Any scars, marks, tattoos? No. Are you employed? So you're unemployed? All right, stand up again, two more pictures, same thing. Back against the wall, arms straight down, looking straight at the camera. I gotta do that again, you look down. All right, turn your head and your head only all the way to the right. All right, come over here. Are you going? Are you just You go ahead. Put your arm up. Or your finger. Just rub, rub that in. Neither one. Huh? What is this? You're being fingerprinted. Alright. You rub that in real well? Yeah. Alright. Right hand. Thumb. Huh? I didn't think it was You haven't or you haven't? Bro? I haven't. Left hand? So why do I have to do it again? Because you're being arrested again. Anytime you get arrested for something that requires fingerprints, you have to uh, get reprinted. So. She's going to search you, alright? Is there anything on you that's going to poke her or anything? No. No? Alright. So, she had heroin, just be careful. Um, 
Oh, yeah. uh, the bathroom's right there. Three or two or ten four. So far? It's good. It's a good place. Do you need her uh, DL? I don't know if you guys have to write a report or anything. Um, yeah, I'll do a little. For now, Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, I would do that report before, so I just go after that. Car's all wrecked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, and she claims that she crashed at Marlboro a couple weeks ago, but there's nothing, or no, Manal then, but mm-hmm. there's no report, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she was all messed up before. But that was also two hours ago. Mm-hmm. She's coming down. Two hours ago. Wait, a point five one. Point three five one. I'm also gonna add paraphernalia on that. Oh shit. Yeah. Is. is that the guy that crashed? No. Evo one seven. That garbage is right here. God damn it. Three five one. Three five one. He was talking and walking too. On a, on a regular day, he's probably too low. Oh, uh, just an alcoholic. Yeah. Here, uh, put your hand out again. I just washed my hand. Yeah, I know. Just rubbing him real good. Uh, we're doing this again. Yeah, we gotta finish it. If there's excess, you can put it on here. Why are you throwing my paper towel out? <laughs> oh no. Huh? <laughs> oh, I thought it was garbage. No. Alright. I gotta w- wipe this off after oh, you, uh... Okay, okay, okay. Left off. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. No, I'm not expert at this, though. It's a good thing, right? Right, though? Yeah. Just let me do all the work. Yeah, I'm all good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Middle. Yeah. Ring. Yeah. And then little. Left thumb. Once we're done with this, I'll bring you out and you can get water, right? Index. Middle. Huh? 
It's just a small sip for people. Yeah, no problem. Ring. Little. Hmm? All right, right hand. So now you do your palm, right hand. So we're gonna do your full palm first. Next is going to be your ha half of your palms here. You're just going to pull your hand halfway down. Yeah, about right here. One more time. Alright, so next it's like a karate chop. No, right hand. This is the last thing with your right hand. Don't oh, try not to move. Okay. Probably have to do that one more time. Do yeah, it one more time. Left hand, full palm. palm. Put, your, put your hand up. Alright, let that off. Alright, good, good. There we go. Upper palm. Okay. All right, last that like karate chop thing. One more time. Alright, now your signature right in here. I'm sorry? I thought I said hand to your left. Oh, no, you're good. Let's go right over there for a second. Excuse me. Let's go over there. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring you out there. You can get water. I'm gonna go out there first. I'll explain everything after. Just leave that. Go out there. Right. Right again. Go through there. Left.
Uh, do you know who you can call to pick you up? Yes. All right. So, do you know the number off the top of your head? Yes, I do. I think I do. All right. So you could you you use our phone, right, to call if you want to have them start coming. You'll be done in like no over here that phone. Yeah. You'll probably be done forty five minutes to an hour. Uh, dial nine one, then the number. Nine one, then the number. Okay, it's ringing. Yeah. Yep. Probably about an hour. Give or take. Sorry? 732-531-1800. I think that's how on those white stuff and her nose. I'm on the side of it. was on the side of her face. But this was right next to her. But this is two and a half hours ago. Seven Eleven. Her car was all wrecked. It was parked in the Seven Eleven a lot, and then when she pulled out, she made the illegal left. Uh, then went to the laundromat in uh, town shops, and when she, I saw an empty in the side, like underneath the driver's seat. And then when she bent over, when she dropped something, there was a bag sitting right on her seat. And then most of this. Most of Oh, we'll do that after. We'll do, let, let him do his thing. Okay. Um, most of this was in her purse. Just hang out for now. We'll do it after. Just hang out. Just ha put the phone down. Just wanted to make 
All right, just have a seat. All right, I'm going to read you your Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer any questions. Do you understand? Yes. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? I'm sorry? Yes. You have the right to consult with an attorney at any time and have your attorney present before and during any questioning. Do you understand? Yes. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided if you so desire prior to any questioning. Do you understand? A decision to waive these rights is not final, and you may withdraw your waiver whenever you wish, either before or during questioning. Do you understand? Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to waive or give up these rights and make a knowing and voluntary statement and answer questions? No. I'm sorry? No. No? Okay. Huh? Yeah, in a minute. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh, she's got a call, so no. Yeah. Uh, if you want to try calling, you can. Oh, uh, I can? Yeah. Can I get my phone? But you got to use our phone to call. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Here? Yeah.
In the lobby. Yeah, just in the lobby. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, perfect. Yo, do me a favor, just write down 81. Alright, you can have a seat. He's coming from Neptune City, so. Yeah, so a few days ago, this warrant was issued. Do you have a court date that you missed? You don't remember? And the, uh, uh, yeah, and the under the influence. Alright. Do you need the, uh, the totals, so or no, or just for the report? Alright, perfect. Yep. And a, um, cut straw with the residue. Jewelry? What kind of jewelry? The necklace. Mm -hmm. So that he found it. Where? From doing his from his job. Yeah, it's just a yeah. But also, if anything, it would just be safekeeping. Yeah, but also. <clears throat> Who's that? I found it in this property. Oh. Uh, so, I haven't got that for you. Call that person up. Yeah. Okay, but, yeah. but uh, this is all I found. I just had the residue on the spoon. Yeah. 
and it's broken the back. So. Yeah, 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 it's definitely good. So, just, uh, I'm just curious about the necklace. And the I would doll this dude up. Or put him in, put him in Spillman, see if he reported. Guys on bicycles. Huh? Guys on bicycles. Uh, Title 39. No, no, I know that. How do you do that? Uh, I oh, I just type in bike. And it pops up. There's like a bunch in there, and I just okay. click like one. You just put that for motor vehicle? Hmm? You just put that in the motor yeah. vehicle? Okay. And what's the one with the lights? It's like 39. I can't remember. If you dial up. Because he had a flashlight, but he had nothing on the back. Dial, go to. Go to my, just type in my CDS for the last like two months. Oh, the fuel contact, right? The fuel contact. Yeah, yeah, that, that. yeah it should be in there. Because I wrote that guy. I'll just do safekeeping for now.
Richards. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll send them in a message here. Right hand, correct? Uh, yeah. All right, thank you. But no other, no tattoos, nothing like that. All right. What's the uh, what's the phone number for you? Nicole, are you sick right now? Sick? Yeah. Are you under the care of a doctor? No. Do you take medication? Diabetes? So you don't take insulin? Are you injured right now? No.
once your ride gets here, you're going to be good to go, right? Your uh, to summons. All right. I'm sorry? Me? Yeah. No, just me. It'll be on all your paperwork too, I'll show you. I didn't know that if they don't, I didn't know that if they don't do Miranda, they can't do the DRE, bro. Because they would, they don't waive their rights. Yeah. I forgot about that. I, forgot about that. I mean, he's just going to get paid for two hours anyway, so okay. I don't think he cares, but yeah. I don't think he cares. Yeah. Thank you, sir. What's up? Uh, 
I, I told you if I didn't, if there was nothing I found, you had a warrant, man. When I read my report, I had to read, I had to show the reason why I stopped you. What was the reason I stopped you? I told you, yeah. Hey, I'm going to read it again. Okay. You done here, man? Call your rides here. Give me one second. Here's your uh, ID. Give me one second. So those are your summonses, your motor vehicle summonses. Uh, they're all different. So it's uh, the couple reasons why I stopped you, the uh, failure to make the repairs on your vehicle, your vehicle being in unsafe condition, um, and the failure or the uh, left turn that you made, the illegal left turn, the DUI, uh, reckless and careless go with that, and then the operating a vehicle. Reckless and careless? They go with a DUI. And then... Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not on anything anyway. Okay, well... Based off my test and my observations, it appeared that you were on something. Okay. Well, you showed signs of it. You had residue in your nose and on your face. And you failed these, the test, so. But that's what court's for. Okay. All right, well, that's what court's for. please don't kill me. This is going to ruin my life. All right. My life has been ruined for the last seven years. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me see why. This, uh, this is still running. I okay. Oh, uh, it's one second. Uh, 
Alright, go to the go to the right. Right again. Through that door. Left. Stand next to the water fountain. Go straight. Seven tickets. Go right. Seven. Go right. Seven tickets. Oh, uh, I didn't count them. Again, I gave him gave you the stuff that I needed to give you. <coughs> Go right. Go up the steps. Thank Left. Thank you for letting me come home tonight. Just wait right here. Alright. Thank you, sir. Can I just leave this right here? On this. Go up this, one. this is your uh, this is your criminal complaint summons. It's obviously possession of heroin, paraphernalia, and being under the influence. Your court date is November fifteenth at nine thirty. It's different from this, but listen to this court date because they're going to combine everything. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait. They should be sending you something in the mail. It's different from this. Yeah, because this automatically prints with our traffic. municipal court date, um, and this is superior court. So the the traffic tickets will get sent with this because okay. it's all the same case. Let's go up this way. <coughs> that way. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. Do you have your ID on you by any chance? Yes. <clears throat> it's expired, but everything is all mine. Yeah, no, you're good. She was arrested for DUI. Um, what this is, or this uh, form is, and what all this says is basically, if you sign this form, I'm releasing her to you. You just have to make sure she doesn't operate a vehicle for 12 hours. It's, that was at 12, so now you're going like. Where's your vehicle now? It was towed, in, impounded. I mean, the, the car is all messed up anyway, so we were gonna tow it regardless. It's all crashed. Um, it's at brother's towing, but she's, she has to go yeah, she's gonna have to come here though. Uh, after it's like 12.30 in the afternoon tomorrow to get an uh, impound release form uh, that we sign. So again, this is just saying that we're gonna release you to, or release her to you and that you just have to make sure she doesn't drive. If she does, then you will be held responsible as well for anything that she may do. Well, I'll just drive her off at home. Can I go to my car? I'm dropping her off at home. Okay. And no, after that, not now. Sorry. She doesn't have a car, so. Yeah, she doesn't have a car. So I'm just letting you know that, that this is what this is. Okay. All right? So if you just want to read it, and then uh, print your name, street address, city, and then sign the uh, first line. Do I get a copy of this? Yeah, I can make a copy if you want. Just give me a second after you're done. I'll be right back, I'll make a copy for you. 